guys, we're right here back with Cyrus. Uh, last episode, he really got some payback. He got a nice 4 for 1 on Mirror Force. Uh, we got his life points down to 3,900 though, but I paused the game right here. Uh, yeah, because it's his turn now. So, I summon 18. Trap disposal unit. Hmm, man, that's a really weak monster. Only 300. Um, oh yeah, it does have an effect though, doesn't it? Huh. I wonder what you would do, Cyrus. Would you actually use the effect if I played Jar of Greed here? No, okay, okay. I was gonna say, like, would he really? I mean, yeah, why would you there? That's a good that's a good point. Ooh, we drew final Ooh. Man, I mm. Okay, well the good part is though. Haha, <laughs> snatch steal. Yeah, like I'm gonna steal that. Uh no, don't chain. The good part is, um, he's only down to one card. This does have 300 attack, so I actually will crash. Uh, we really, really don't want him to tribute summon anything at this point. Or maybe we do, we have Snatch Deal. Hmm. No, 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 but we'll crash. I guess I'll play Final Countdown since we drew it, but uh, I, yeah, yeah. He, he's so low on life points and stuff. I really plan to win here just by, uh, you know, battle damage and stuff. But I don't know. With all the stall cards we have, I may not really draw any uh, any uh, monsters that are, you know, pretty strong attack. So in the meantime, so I guess final countdown is the way to go. I mean, that's what my deck's all about. So. Might as well get the countdown started. Okay, just a face down card. That's good, Sai. That's good. That's best case scenario for us. In the meantime, scapegoat is good. Nope, no chain. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll try the Sinister Serpent beatdown, huh? Let's do it. Sinister Serpent, you're up, buddy. Uh, let's set scapegoat for whatever reason. And, uh,. I guess we'll just, you know, yeah. You may say like, oh, you probably shouldn't do that. You know, that's a pretty weak monster. But I mean, he's so low on cards that, you know, yeah, I'm really not, you know, too afraid, you know. What's he gonna do, summon Boko Ichi? His third one of the match? Yeah, like he's not even playing monsters, so. What, what will finish him faster, uh, Final Countdown or uh, <laughs> or Sinister Surf Serpent? Yeah, now this does make me feel a little safer. I'm pretty sure he already played Heavy Storm. Yes, he did. So, ooh, should I bait the Magic Jammer? Yeah, let's let's play. Okay, I activate Scapegoat. <laughs> I knew it, Cyrus. I knew it. Magic Jammer. Yeah, yeah. You jam that magic, buddy. You jam it. Okay. 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 What was the last monster in this hand? What was it? What was it? I just want to know. UFO Roid. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. I was like, yeah, I don't want him to tribute someone, and this can float into his other machines. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we'll play Messenger of Peace. Yeah, see, now I feel about as safe as I can be. So, anyway, Sinister Serpent, get him. Uh, <laughs> magic Cylinder for 300. <laughs> Add that one to the highlight reel. That's that's pretty hilarious. That's pretty hilarious. Okay, Sai. Okay, you saved yourself three turns of Messenger apiece. Yeah, yeah. Five IQ play, buddy. <laughs> Alright, well, he finally got a monster, so... Alright. Now, I'm assuming that monster that he just got, some kind of flip mo- ooh. Hmm. Huh. That, uh... Yeah, we'll pay the maintenance. Hmm, that almost changes the equation a bit. And we've got Snatch Steel. Huh. Let's do something a little foolhardy. Let's find out what this is. Huh, because he's got no other cards in hand. Why would you say that? Ooh, that kind of hurt. But I'm not too worried, guys. Let's end the turn. Let's end the turn. That was a good move there by Cyrus. I thought it was some kind of flip monster, but... Eh. I mean, to be fair, though, Steamroid does lose... 
<laughs> hey, name, huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Guess what, buddy? You won't be attacking me this turn with your hey, hey. Go, threatening roar. This trap will negate any attack you do this turn to prevent you from attacking. Yeah. Mmm, Nemo Uh. Hmm. I'm thinking about snatch stealing here. Let me see. No, no, we'll pay. We'll clear out Hain Hain. We'll clear out Hain Hain. Okay. Alright, Sai. Alright. Wabaku. Sure. Just in case things get crazy. Alright. Nimomolonga, go! Destroy that Hain Hain! And I'm really glad to see Nimomolonga because... Yeah, if he somehow does clear uh, Messenger of Peace, uh, we'll restore our life points. And gain two more Momonga, so... But I'm hoping he doesn't really do much here this turn. Because we can snatch still in Mobius. Mmm. That's everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway. Ready? Oh, it's like the decks begging me to do it. Yeah, we'll not pay for peace. Uh, go snatch deal! Give me that steamroid, buddy. Alright, and now... I sacrifice my Sinister Serpent to summon Mobius the Frost Monarch. And I will, oh, there comes the winning music. Go, Frost Glacier Freeze. Ice that back row. Ooh, Black Linden, that was close, that was close. All right, guys, here we go. Go, Mobius, Frost Glacier Freeze. <laughs> All right, that was some duel though, Cyrus. That was some duel. Time to give your life points a truckin' with your own steamroid. This duel's over. Oh man! Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, 512. I mean, that duel did last a lot of turns, so I did destroy a lot of monsters by battle. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad we won without final countdown. That makes me feel a little better about this deck. Yeah. I'm too fiery for you. Whoa! What's going on here? Recently, there's someone wandering around Obelisk Blue. Girls dorm. What in the world? Okay, that's odd. Gosh, that is like so inexcusable. Yeah, tell me about it, uh, Mindy. And they say he's pretty good looking. Wait, what? Really? Well then like, I hope I totally get to meet him. Huh, I'm kidding, Mindy. Yeah. You're like so mean. Huh. First time we've seen those two characters. That's a good sign. Welcome, Flood. Take a look around. Um, do you have the live vehicles? I need to know. Um, hmm. Power destructions. Hmm, you know, we really haven't bought much of this pack. Let's buy like two. Um, I'm also still looking for a pot of greed after all this time. Uh, let's buy. Let's just buy one of each of these. And I'll, I'll figure out which one uh, Pot of Greed's in eventually here, you know, over the LP. Uh, yeah, Live Vehicles isn't available till the weekend. And we've already got Mirror Force out of here, so... Tell you what, that's it for now, Dorothy. Uh, yeah, that's cool. And let's see which one I've completed as far as these packs go. Let's see if we get anything good here. Uh, Penguin Soldier's cool. Uh, Morphing Jar's only limited to one, but it's good. Oh, Crash Clown. Crash Clown's good. Okay. And of course, for these, I'm mainly just seeing which one I need to buy more of. Got another Smashing Ground, though. Thousand Knives ain't bad, you know. Dark Magician deck. Uh, all right, right. And let's see what we get out of here. Giant or Kaiko. Pretty good, pretty good, yeah. Another Kaiko, okay. Gemini Elf. Mmm. Yeah, some good things out of that. Okay. So nothing new out of here. Wow, and I still only have 84%. That is wild. Uh, okay, which one of these do I need to buy? Okay, so I need to buy a Harpy's Feather Duster. Because I think I've collected all of this one, right? Right, okay, okay. So we'll buy a little more Harpy's Feather Duster. Gemini Elf is really good, as well as Ky Geico. You know, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more in card terms. So. Hashtag not sponsored. Okay, but I'm liking what we got out of uh, Power Destructions. So, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's buy a little more of the Duster Pack. Let's buy, and these are only 100, so let's buy like 
four. No, let's buy a five. Let's buy a five. Let's buy a five. That'll get us down to 29. And let's buy some more power destructions. Because I really haven't bought too much out of here. Uh, 1,500. That, that's a good amount, because we want to save some for live vehicles, I think. So let's see what we get out of here. Yeah, because I'm only missing two cards. Pot of Greed has to be in this pack, and I'm just, like, really unlucky. Because I am only missing two cards out of the Feather Duster pack, but I'm not going to get greedy. You know, we'll just, we'll just buy, like, four or five at a time, and eventually we'll get it. We'll get the last two missing cards out of that pack. Kaiser Glider! Pretty good. Harpy's Brother. Okay. Rare Metal Jet. Beast of Tower. Wow. Yeah, these cards are all good. Another Goblin Attack Force. Force Raider itself. Yeah, some good stuff out of there, honestly. Okay. Wow, we didn't get anything new out of that for Duster. That's that's really unlucky. But, uh, yeah, Force Raider is new. That's cool. As well as Mad Dog. Yeah. Kaiser Glider. We got some good stuff. We got some good stuff. Okay. You know, maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, because all of these have around 19 to 1800. Maybe Mechanical Chaser is in this pack. Hmm, it could be, it could be. Okay, but that pack's definitely worth buying. Uh, nah, that's fine, Dorothy. We'll save up our DP, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll definitely consider buying some more of that next time. Okay, now as far as duels go, these final countdown duels do go kind of long. So, I think we'll just do this one duel versus Cyrus, unless it goes, you know, super quick. And then that'll be the episode. Get your game on, get your game on. Yeah, we know, Cyrus. We know you want to be like Jaden. Alright, so he's going first, probably. Oh, I go first. Sweet. That's what we want in the final countdown deck. We want to go first in the C final countdown right away. So... Let me do my first turn, and then I'm going to grab a drink. Uh, let's go with Momonga in attack mode. And what do we get here? Well, Jar of Greed can help us draw a card. Two T-Roar. Okay. Well, I kind of want him to attack Momonga, so we'll just set Jar of Greed in our turn. Okay. Okay, Cyrus, don't you, don't you, don't you. Steamroid, yeah, that's that's pretty standard fare for Cyrus here, you know. Black Pendant, I guess it does kind of uh, circumvent uh, Steamroid's, you know, weakness. So, good move, good move. Yeah, it can destroy your Nimble Mwanga. That's going to do quite a lot of damage there, Cy. Good for you, buddy, good for you. 1800, wow. But... I do get to clear my deck, and I get two more Momongas. Yes. And yes. All right. All right. Okay. Ending the battle phase. One face down. Okay, just one. Uh, should I play Jar of Greed? Nah. You know what? Let's wait for our turn. Let's see if he's got, like, a seven tools or something, you know. Yeah, this is in my deck, too. Uh, Legacy of Yadagarasu. So, let's draw a card here. Jar of Greed. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty good draw. Hmm. All right. Remember this monster from our last old Cyrus? I tribute a Momonga to summon Mobius the Frost Monarch. Yes, I will. Thank you, Mobius. So let's destroy this one. And let's destroy this one. All right. What was it? What was it? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. That's, you know... Pretty standard. Uh, let's set this card. And we'll set this card. Alright. Get ready, Cyrus. Now, time to take advantage of your Steamroid's weakness. When it gets attacked, it loses 500 points. Frost Glacier Freeze. Yeah. Alright. And then we'll going to get in there. Alright. Alrighty. Why is it playing the winning music? We're only winning by 800 points. What? We're winning a duel. We're winning a duel. Oh, you threw off my groove, game. Okay, once again, we'll wait for our turn to play uh, uh, Legacy of Yada. Just to see if he's got a... Oh. Card. Call of the Haunted. 
well, that's a free attack target for me, so go ahead, Cyrus. All right. All right, let's play uh, Legacy of Yada here. <laughs> it's so weird. It's called Corpse of Yada Garasu in this game. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, how about we get rid of the last two cards in your hand there, buddy? The Lingwin Duo. Mm-mm. And they were monsters, too. What were they? What were they? Ah, some Roid cards. Yes, Steamroid, Dryroid. Wait, why didn't you summon Steamroid and attack my Momonga? I mean, you could have tried. I've got Threatening Roar, but you could have tried, bro. Um, wow. So, he's got no cards in hand. Hmm, should I steal his Steamroid? It is turn five. I activate Snatch Steal, Cyrus. This lets me steal the monster you revived from the graveyard. Uh-huh. And then, uh... Go! Goblin Attack Force! Hmm, I'm thinking about the life points here. Could I win this turn? So that would get him down to 35. 35. Ooh, we're so close. If Momonga can clear it, then I win this turn. Let's try. Nimmo Momonga, attack that face sound monster. Let's hope. Oh, well, yeah. it's Man Eater Bug. Well, you know, not much I could really do about that, so sorry, Mobius, sorry. But, uh, well, we do get some good hits in here, though, so. Go, Steamroid, give his life points a truckin'. All right, all right, it's a good move, though. Good move, buddy. All right, Goblin Attack Force, use those clubs, boys. All right. All right, so he's down to 1,800, so we won't get the times two, but it was worth it going for there, for it there, because Momonga did clear his monster. It just so happened to be Maneater Bug, you know, so a little unlucky, but that's okay. So Snatch Tail will heal his life points now. Ah, oh, jeez, bro, really? Really? Ah, you took the wrong monster, Sai. Yeah, you can't even switch that monster to attack mode. Whoops. Um, thanks. Ooh. Well, I guess we might as well go for the win here, guys. So, really, I just need, like, any monster with a solid attack stat? So, go, Graceful Charity. This lets me draw three cards and discard two. Okay, we got another Goblin Attack Force. Perfect. Let's discard Threatening Roar, because obviously we don't need it, and seven tools, because we don't need it. There we go. All right, Cyrus. Even though you stole my Goblin Attack Force, I drew another one. Now, yeah, why didn't he take a Steamroid, bro? <laughs> I guess the AI just defaults to, you know, whatever has the highest attack, steal it. So, which isn't always the right decision, as you see here. But, uh, yeah. All right. Well, that was relatively short, so I guess we can do one other duel. Go, Steamroid. All right. That was very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, boys. Use those clubs. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, you lose, Sai. Game over. That delinquent duo was clutch, though. Uh, 470, 456, yeah. Not bad, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, no way you can be fiery duelist. I'm too fiery for you. All right, let's save here. Just in case I run out of time or something. All right, next duel versus Bastion. Look, I put my heart and soul. Yeah, I put my heart and soul into the final countdown, buddy. Why are all these duels at the volcano? I don't know, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's just go first. All right. Duel. Let's see. MST. Hmm. This hand's not too bad. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll play this. Yeah. See if we get countdown. If we're lucky. So that's equally good, honestly. Okay. We'll just start with Giant Rat. And I guess we'll start uh, rotating through our deck. Uh, assuming Bastion lets us. Let's... Yep, yeah, end the turn. 
All right, go ahead, Bastion. I've already done the mop, Mike. I'll win. Okay. And Gamma, yeah. Gamma's solid, Gamma's good. I attack with Gamma. This will send your giant rot to the graveyard, Mike. All right, Bastion. Well, now with my giant rat, I can special summon another monster. So I choose another giant rat. We'll just go down the line here. Try to in our deck. Two face downs. I see those face downs. Ooh. Yeah, I also put this card in my deck. Yamada Dragon. Oddly enough, if we ever get this effect off to uh, draw five uh, in a final countdown, or draw until we have five, it's basically game over. And in fact, I could try for it right now. With premature burial. Hmm. No, as tempting as it is, it's just smarter not to do that right now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I will with Mask of Darkness, though. That would be pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Okay, I get my turn, Bastion. What you gonna do, buddy? Penguin Soldier in attack mode, yeah. Yeah, I see you. Uh, Penguin Soldier's kinda weak. Let's try to T-Roar here. Okay, good. He can't attack. Still only got two. Ooh. 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 Okay, let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. I activate Heavy Storm. This will blow all your spells and traps off the map. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. I activate Mask of Darkness. This monster will let me recycle a trap back in my graveyard, so I'll take back this one. Uh-huh. Well, guys, I really didn't expect to show this uh, this early, but uh, here we go. Go, premature burial. By paying 800 points, well then, I can revive a monster in my graveyard, and I choose Giant Rat. Nope, no chain. All right, Bastion, bet you didn't see this coming. I sacrificed two of my monsters. Now, time for you to meet one of the ultimate spirit monsters in the game. Go, Yamada Dragon. Whenever this monster inflicts damage to you, well then, I get to draw until I have five cards in my hand. So I'll set every card in my hand. Now go! Yamada Dragon, Sacred Flame Attack, get rid of that gamma. Oh, here we go, guys. Draw until you have five. Ooh, baby, and it's one-sided. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, reanalyze those formulas, buddy. That is so good. I'm glad I got to show that at least once in this LP. Yamada Dragon is a really, I've always felt like this is a really, really underrated card, bro. Draw until you have five. Like that is, you know, so good, so good. Okay, so now we got T-Roar. Um, now the thing is, is that Yamada Dragon will return to your hand uh, at the end phase. So just keep that in mind, you know, if you happen to use it. Um, but we'll set that, and we've got T-Roar. So I'll end the turn. Go ahead. That was, that was awesome, though. All right. Yep, he's just setting. Okay, and, and we'll, we'll wait for our turn. Oh, he's got a couple more face downs. Wow. I didn't expect all those face downs, but... Uh, yeah, we'll wait for our turn. We'll wait for our turn. I was going to try to snipe one out, but uh, I'm sure he's got, you know, Magic Gym or something back there. Called the Haunted? Ring of Destruction. Hmm. Interesting. Good card. Uh, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay, I guess that does get rid of my rat. Uh, let's play... Jarbury. Trying to trigger... Yeah, yeah. I figured. I figured, Bastion. Seven tools. Uh-huh. Yep. That's fine. That is fine. Okay. Well, he's only got one monster. 
<laughs> I could just take it right out, right, right, right now with Exile Force. And you know, he's so low on cards, I think I will. You know, this may be a waste, like it could just be some vanilla monster, but let's do it. Exile Force, baby. All right, bye-bye. What you got? It was a vanilla, what was it? Alpha! Good decision, good decision, okay. But we do have the scapegoat Kuragane combo as well. So, we've got RMST. Okay, things are looking good for us. I am my turn, Bastion. He's only got one card, like, bro. Whew, things are looking real good for us. Let's go ahead and play scapegoat here. Let's just shotgun it right in here. Reveal scapegoat. All right. There you go. Hain hain. Good. That way I don't have to worry about the effects. That's kind of why I shotgunned a uh, scapegoat there. <laughs> I could T roar. No, thank you. <laughs> now, if you had something like a Sora Priest, yeah, I would. But you know. Yeah, because that encourages him to summon that in attack mode. And then next turn we can Kuragane. So, yep. Alright. Face down? No face down. It will just appear on to be crocked, mate. Alright, mate. I draw. Ooh, card destruction. Pretty good. Um, let's start with Kuragane. All right, Bastion, I sacrifice a scapegoat, which is an Earth attribute. That lets me revive a monster you destroyed earlier this duel. Come on, now. Giant rat, attack mode. Hmm, card destruction. I don't really mind getting rid of my hand right now, to be quite frank. So, let's do it. I activate card destruction. Now, we get rid of all the cards in our hand and replace them with a new hand. Ah, the final countdown is here. Oh, I drew two. Yeah, that, that is the risky thing about this deck. You never really want to see two of them like that, back to back. But, uh, you know, it's just... That's ultimately what you have to deal with in this deck. You know, you, there's really no way around it. So, <laughs> um, I will set seven tools, though. I am glad to see that. And let's just clear out his only monster. Yeah. Go, giant rat. Attack his pain hay now. All right. Very good. Yeah, reanalyze your formulas, buddy. Okay, and the countdown started. Let's end the turn. We might not need final countdown, but, you know, just in case. You know, just in case. All right, what you got, Bash? Quantum Duel Theory. That's a good card. I'm still looking for that card, Bastion. Good for you. That does help him out quite a bit. Yeah, because he was only down to, like, one card, so... Uh, I could T-roar this. Let's see. I really don't mind that, to be quite honest, because we can grab a uh, Nimble Monga. So, let's do that. All right. No, don't chain. Yes. All right, Bastion. I'll take... The nimblest of them all, Nimble Momonga, from my deck. Face downs? Oh, there's one face down. Ch should I just MST that? Nah, it's probably Magic Jammer. Let's, let's wait. Alright. Countdown's going. Thunder Ruler! Good to see it, good to see it. Yeah, a lot of stall cards in here. Uh, let's go with Mystical Space Typhoon. Now I'll blow that face down card away. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was a magic jammer. I knew it. I felt it in my soul. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I should wait. I should wait. Ah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of the last card in your hand, Bastion. What was it? What was it? I just got to know. Oh, yes. Yes. Get rid of that snatch seal, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's really good because um, he could have... Um, yeah, stolen my Nimble Momonga, which I really don't want at this point. Um, I could flip Mask of Darkness to grab, like, Wabaku or something. Ooh, I could grab Kuragane. That's... Okay. Yeah. I'll use Mask of Darkness here. And I'll grab Spiritual Earth Art Kuragane. 
Yeah, because this is only monster. Hmm, didn't we use Exile Force? Ah, let's check the graveyard. Didn't we? Uh, 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 uh huh, uh huh. All right, Bastion, I'll set a card face down. And that's it for now. And we've got T-Roar, so let's see what he does here. Go ahead, Bastion. Uh-huh. Last card in your hand. What you got? That's a pretty solid monster, honestly. That's pretty solid. Hmm. It almost wants me to ch makes me want to change my plans. But no, no, no. We'll go ahead and use Threatening Roar. Okay. Next turn, Kuragane, baby. Uh-huh. Very good, very good. Final countdown. Another final countdown. Oh boy. Um, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I think this is worth it. You know, War Raider is a pretty solid monster. So I'll tribute its sheep token. And we'll revive Exile Force. Yeah. Nope, don't change. Yeah, we'll just do this to kind of keep him off of monsters. So, Mask of Darkness Defense Mode. Um, I don't even really want to skip the battle phase at this point, so... But I will use Exile Force and clear out Horse Raider. So there we go. All right, Bastion. All right. I end my turn. All right. Okay. Good. Just one monster, and he attacked Momonga. Perfect. Perfect. Uh-huh. That's fine, Bastion. That's fine. I want to restore my life once. Thank you. Yes. And yes. All right. So our life points are getting healed. He's got another face down. We can stall out here for a while. Um, oh, oh. Interesting card, Bastion. Interesting card. And I just drew an interesting card of my own. All right, Bastion. It's time for me to play another card. I activate Lightning Vortex. Since I've already activated Final 